Hey everyone, it's Randy from Dreaming Bahamian, and I really thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm coming on today because I'm trying to do a little catch up from being on vacation for a couple of weeks and just kind of now getting back into the groove of things. And I wanted to come on and show you some of the things that I did while on vacation. And I had the pleasure of having Sheila from Boho Daydreams to come and visit me here in North Carolina. And we just crafted and had so much fun, estate sailing and shopping and talking. And uh, it, it was really a really fun visit. And uh, I, I cannot wait to do that again. So when Sheila came, she brought some crafting things with her and I wasn't real sure what she was going to bring. And so when she came, she had these beautiful uh, bead caps with her and she said that she wanted us to make some tassels. And so she had brought her silk and then I got out my fibers and such and we combined our uh, things and then she had her beautiful beads that she had brought with us. I hope you can see that. And um, look how gorgeous that bead is. <laughs> Get really distracted by the beads. Uh, so we made these tassels and they just turned out so beautiful. We made a long one and then a shorter one. And they are just so pretty. I mean, the pink and the, you know, the pale pinks and the mauves and the cream and the white is just really goes so pretty together. You just can't beat some pink, can you? So we made those and those turned out great. Look at the bead on this one. I'm not sure about my lighting today. Hopefully you can see that. Beautiful bead. I've got a new phone and um, this will be my first video trying it out. So we'll see what happens here. So we did the tassels and then um, we got started on another little project. I wanted to show Sheila how to make the little sweet pastel journal that we worked on in the group. And so this was just a little mini journal made out of index cards not just any index cards, but some cardstock index cards. And then we put um, paint and all kinds of things on them so that they just turned out so, 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 so pretty. There's stamping, there's napkins, there's um, music paper, there's ledger paper, uh, there's some really cute embroidered um, fabrics and trims and things like that and they just it just came together so nicely so Sheila and I made one together Sheila made pink and I made purple and here's one of the purple ones that I did look how yummy that is part of the charm of this little journal is that it, the pages are really thick and so they feel almost like cardboard, but they're not. And they're just so nice to hold. They turn out so precious. This one is going to uh, a special someone who ordered it. And uh, I'm in the process of making some more, but this one is on its way to a new home on Monday. So I'm really excited to send that out. This, I don't know if you can hear that when the pages turn, it's just, so, so nice. So anyway, so we made these and Sheila got home and she started showing hers on her channel. And these were uh, called the Sweet Pastels, but for some reason she got Sweet Pea in her mind and so she started calling them Sweet Pea. And so I guess we're renaming them the Sweet Pea. I don't know because it was really cute. It was a really cute name. I liked it. So so these will be the sweet peas from now on. So when also before Sheila came, I had been um, stalking the Instagram account of one of my favorite makers and it's Magpie in the Wardrobe. 
and I love her dolls. And so I, I wanted to have something special uh, for Sheila when she came. And so I finally caught a sale from um, Magpie in the wardrobe and I got two dolls and I was like, you know, bidding like crazy. She, um, she lists them on her Instagram and she tells you what time, but you know, you have to be there or you miss it. And so, <laughs> so I finally got two. Um, you don't sometimes get the ones that you want perfectly because somebody else might get them quicker than you, but, uh, they're all so gorgeous. You kind of can't go wrong. So I got, um, Cupid for me and I think hers was love. I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, these are the most fun little dolls. Even her little necklace here. Let's see if I can make this pick up. I'm trying to work this new phone. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. Let's see. There we go. Look at that little necklace. That is actual beads. Isn't that just crazy? I, I mean, I just <laughs> couldn't believe it. And then this one, so when I saw it on her page, I only saw this little dangle of a crystal, but they're all around her dress. Isn't that beautiful? And she, um, she's really particular with her fabric. She's in London and she only uses... Uh, vintage French anything. So everything on here, even this little flower is vintage. So, so I got myself one and her one and those are, are really fun. Super, super fun. Let's see if I can get back out here. There we go. Bear with me. I really am trying to learn how to use this new phone. I went from Android to iPhone and so, you know, I don't know. Technology and I just aren't friends. <laughs> I don't know how to work it yet. So, when Sheila came, she brought me some treasures. And I was really excited. And I had told her that I wanted this pink. Uh, because she posted this on her um, channel before she left. And posted them in the group. And they're so gorgeous that I don't know if it's pink like, I'm sure you're the same, most people. If it's pink, you just have to have it. So I told her that I wanted one of these. And that I wanted one of the um, medieval um, trim packages. So she brought me a trim package. And I can't remember what this one is called. I don't know. I think it's spring maybe? Oh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I got two of these bundles. This medieval one is mostly blues, and it is gorgeous, let me tell you what. And look at this little heart dangle on there. I just love the dangles. I love making the dangles. I got some really cool beads um, to make some dangles with, and I thought I might make um, a window hanging or a um, sun catcher or something with them because they're just so cool. Just really need to get to working on that. But look at this, y'all. Look at all these beautiful blues. Aren't those gorgeous? Let me see if I can get my phone to focus better. Look at this. Just gorgeous. All of these beautiful trims. And I, I saw this one when she first posted it. And I was like, oh, you know, I just need to stop buying everything. Well, then she posted it again. And I, she, like, had one or two left. And I was like, you know what? I think the universe said, you know what? There's your second chance. You better get it. <laughs> so I did. I was like, I need that. Uh, she's like, you need more blue? I'm like, yeah, I need more blue. She's like, but everything you have is blue. I was like, yeah, 
Yeah, I know, but I need the blue. <laughs> so let's see. I want to make sure this is the right one. Because I got a couple of them. Excuse that noise. I stepped away. Maybe this is the spring. I don't know. They both have that yellow in it. She brought me two medievals, and then I just don't remember what the name of this other one is called. And I don't know what is what. I was going by the tie, and this one has a different tie to it. So I thought maybe that was different. Let's see what we got here. Blues and blues. Blue. I wonder if this is why. Let's see. No, I don't. I don't know, friends. I just don't know. But all I know is that you just can't go wrong with any of this. And I'm sure Sheila will fix me up in the comments and tell me which one was which. So maybe this one wasn't the medieval. It's more florally. I'm not sure. Let me know, Sheila, in the comments what I'm looking at. Ugh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. I cannot quit looking at this. Now, okay, now this has got some purple in it. I don't think, maybe the medieval doesn't have purple in it. No, nope, it does. Okay, I don't know. I have no clues. Zero clues today. But look at this. Look at this pink. I cannot wait to use these pinks. I think I might make a little uh, sweet pea and use some of this on it. This is my favorite, favorite trim from Sheila. I use it on so much. It is so versatile. Look at that. It is gorgeous. It goes with everything. It's got some little gold sequins in it. And so she gave me a, a little extra of this uh, because it was my favorite. And I'm just ruining this little bundle. But look at these gorgeous beads. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I, I just love this. I just already went through this. I mean, you cannot imagine how beautiful these are. I'll just slide that off. I'm sure I'm ruining it. Let me just untie it here because I want you to see how beautiful this is. And look at that bead. These are the kind of beads that Karen had used on some of her little trifold ephemera holders, I think. These beads are precious. I love those too. So look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. All of these laces in here are just amazing. It's just so cute, dainty and precious. Look at that. I mean, it's gonna be really hard to use, but how do you not use it? It's so, so gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And look at this little froof. Isn't that cute? It looks like it could be a little doll skirt. It is, I saw Kelly um, Snow <laughs> saying that she thought it looked like a doll skirt. I was like, that is so true. It's so precious. I just love Islet. You could just wrap me up in Islet and I would be happy. That one's a little mottled and it turned out really, really cool. And some more eyelet. Sheila will sometimes give me the crunchy stuff because she knows I don't mind because I can grunge it up and tear it and use it. I don't mind tearing my stuff. In fact, I kind of prefer it torn. And look at this beautiful piece of cotton. A beautiful peachy pink color that turned out. Some of that. Oh, here's this. It's so beautiful. I think I have it backwards. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The texture on these. 
I can't decide which one is my favorite. These are just beautiful. Look at that. I am so hoping that my lighting is okay. My husband stole my lamp. He's doing the things with it, using it and borrowing it. And so it wasn't on my desk when I started a video. And so I have another lamp. Hopefully it's picking everything up. Look at that, it is so gorgeous. Ugh, this reminds me of Little Mermaid scales. It's so cute. And that, some more eyelet, some, some little bitty crochet. And this, that's cute. That turned out really um, like a baby pink, really pretty. And this is just the palest pink. I know it's hard to see, but it just picked up the faintest pink. So, so gorgeous. And then of course her velvet is in here too. Look at that, it's like bubble gum. She did, I don't think she liked it at first. And I was like, Sheila, it's bubble gum pink. It's what, what can be wrong with it? <laughs> it's gorgeous. Beautiful. Super, super pretty. And then the velvet ribbon. And then the thinner ribbon. Isn't that so pretty? It's so springy. I'm ready for spring. I know. I think we all are ready for spring. So that is that. And then... Um, she brought some beads, too. She brought me some beads, y'all. I'm always ordering beads from her. And then I use them up so fast, just making dangles so I can look at them. And so now, you know, I have the <laughs> have no more beads. So she brought me some beads, and we played with them and used some of them. But this is, you can get her strands like this now in um, colors instead of, a, a mixed you can get the longer ones too that aren't that are mixed but these um these come like this super pretty of course you know we had to use the pink on our tassels really really pretty i'm not sure what i'll use these yellow and green for but i am sure i will find something fun to do with those We, and we just had so much time, sh so much fun shopping um, and enjoying each other's company while she was here. And uh, I cannot wait to do that again. So I can't wait till she comes back. And we can have some more fun time together because she found some really, really, really good prizes while she was here. Some treasures and took home with her because she always jokes about how she can only find tractors and tools at her estate sales in Montana. So, <laughs> so we need her to come back. So we are both working on some sweet peas. So if you would like one, just um, let us know. We can do any color that you like. And um, we don't, it's not really a, a theme thing. It's just kind of um, more on the colors. So, we can do multicolor brights or pales, uh, naturals, pinks, purples, blues. I, I did a blue one, and I, uh, Deborah Pruitt wanted it, so I sent that to her. She sent me some lace, and I sent her a, um, the little blue journal. So, just let us know if you want to see, uh, if you would like to order any of these. We can take pre-orders for these. And uh, have them out pretty quickly. So I think that's it, guys. I just really missed y'all and wanted to come on and say, hey, um, I was so busy with Sheila while she was here and having fun that I didn't post much while she was here. Uh, she did most of the posting, but I am back and I've been slack on my events and uh, I'm going to get back in the swing of things with that too. Um, you know how vacation goes, so... Anywho, 
I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your afternoon. It is Saturday afternoon, and I am going to get to work on some fun crafty things here, and I hope you guys will do the same. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please like this video and share it with a friend. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. I would really appreciate it if um, you would hang out on my channel a lot. So thank you so much. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye.